Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be installing a GFCI outlet outdoors right around here. We're going to be getting the power from an inside outlet that is right there. So the power is coming from that and it will go directly behind it right there. So these are some of the things that you're going to be needing. This is a 1 and 1 8 SDS plus drill bit for a rotary drill. And we're going to need some silicone. Some people use putty. I'm going to be using silicone. Um, we're going to need this just to make sure that uh, the power is off when we're messing with the electricals. And. Um, uh, just to check our outlet when we're done making sure everything is done correctly we're going to need 14-2 wire but I just want to point out that this is outdoor wire and we also need a small bit um, just to get our first hole through the stucco um, from the inside out and then I'll be drilling the big hole from the outside going in. Once I figure out exactly where it is on the wall over there, I'll be drilling with the big one. And some screws. And of course, the outlets themselves. Now, <clears throat> there, there's some choices here. So this one's from Amazon. It's a popular one. Uh, it's Tamac brand uh, $29.99 a lot of people are using this for this kind of project um, and since it sits far off the ground I mean far off the wall I also consider doing something like this where it's more slim instead of having this big thing like this it's more like this so it cuts off some of it it makes it look uh, looks makes it look better and more sleek on the wall but I decided to go with a third one, which is from Home Depot. I believe it's Commercial Electric is the brand. And so here it is right here. I already was taking a look at it. And I've got this little part right here. It's a half inch one. I have some holes already punched out in here. These are quarter inch holes for my quarter inch Tapcon screws. And of course, the outlet itself, GFCI outlet. Okay, now we're gonna be taking off this outlet right here. Yes. Before we start taking this outlet off, I just wanna show you guys there is power to this. Correct. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run downstairs and turn the power off. Okay guys, you can now see that there is no more light here, no power here. Okay, now that I have my GFCI outlet off, I'm going to put Legos on everything so that I can figure out which one is coming from downstairs and which one is going up higher to my security camera. And by which one I mean this is one set of Romex and this is the other set of Romex. So I'm trying to figure out which one goes to the breaker box and which one goes up higher to my security camera. So I'm going to cover everything up to be safe. And then I'm going to go turn the power back on. Okay, I have way goes on everything. I'm going to go turn the power back on. Okay, power is back on. 
So we know that the left one has power and the right one does not. So this one right here is going up and to my, my security camera. But this one on the left has power. This one goes down to my breaker box. So we know that now. Okay, I'm gonna go turn the power back off now. Okay, power is back off. Just confirming. Okay, we now have a hole drilled that gives me access to the stucco back. I'm now going to be drilling from the inside out with just a little thin uh, masonry bit so that I can establish where the placement is for the box on the outside. Okay, we now drilled our hole from the inside out. Worked perfectly. Okay, one and one eighteenth hole. Okay, we got the silicone on, it's time to put it on. Okay, we got the screws in. It's on there pretty solid. Now we just need to add some more silicone. Okay, we got the silicone on. Now I'm just gonna let it dry. I was having trouble getting through that um, this one that I had already started on, so I just decided to start over. And I got it coming out of both ends here. Now it's time for the electrical stuff, um, more in-depth electrical stuff. Just a quick reminder that if you guys aren't confident um, or comfortable doing it, uh, please call a licensed electrician. Okay, now I've got these split apart. Now we're going to get them ready to put them in the Wagos. There's a spot on here that says stranded. or solid and so since this is solid we're gonna put it on the 14 because it's 14 gauge Romex okay so since I have one two three black wires plus I'm gonna need one more for my pigtail for uh, the outlet that I'm going to put on the inside. Um, I'm going to be using a Wago with five compartments. Okay, I got all the Wagos in. Now I got to put the outlet in. I'm putting in a different outlet. Okay, ground wires in. Okay, now we'll do black brass. Okay, 
Okay, we're now going to cut open this thing with the utility knife. Okay, now that we have these out, I'm going to go ahead and strip the wire. Again, this is solid wire, so we're doing it on the solid side, and it's 14 gauge wire. 14 gauge outdoor wire, just in case you guys missed that earlier in the video. That's why it's gray instead of white, this part. Now we have our outlet here. Okay, so first step is we're going to do the ground wire. This is a pigtail. So we're doing a pigtail of a ground wire because we want two ground wires. We want one ground wire from here to our Wago, and then we want our other ground wire from here to our Wago. And then we want our other ground wire from the Wago to this. So it's actually three ground wires to the little green screw over here. So first things first, I'm going to secure, I'm going to tighten this ground pigtail. Okay, so that's on there. Okay, we got our first way going here. This one's going to connect to the little green screw back here. Got our second way going here. So now we have this third one, pigtail. Okay, so now before I start continuing and doing the black and the white, I'm going to go ahead and secure our ground wire. This is a metal outlet box, so it's good to do that. So we are connecting it to the line. Which on this case is the bottom. Okay, so it's at the right length. I'm going to go ahead and pop it in. So now, just to sum it up here, we have three ground wires. One coming from the Romex going into the Wago. One coming from the Wago going into the screen screw. And one coming from the Wago and coming in to the outlet on the ground one under the green screw. Okay? And then we have the white and the black going into the line, not the load, the line at the bottom of the outlet. So now we are pretty much done, except I'm just going to tighten everything up. Just so it's not metal kind of 
loose, bouncing around in here. What I'll do next is I will take some electrical tape and I will go around about two turns. At the end, we're not going to stretch it or anything, we're just going to lay it flat and push it down. Okay guys, we are almost done with this DIY project. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop those comments down below if you would have done something differently. I'm all ears, guys. Okay, before we go ahead and close everything up, I'm going to turn the power back on. Make sure that everything is working properly. See a little light there. Correct. Okay, so everything is looking good. Okay, so it's correct on the inside as well. Okay, everything is looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the power back off. Okay, the power is now off. I can feel it sealing up. Cool thing about these outlets is that you can plug something into it and have the cord go down and close it, which is pretty cool. We're gonna test this one more time just to show you guys. Turning the power back on. Oh yeah, baby. That's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop any comments down below. Did I do something wrong? I'm all ears. Till next time, I'm out.